Fox, the network that was created to go up against the big three, NBC, ABC, and CBS. The network started small on October 9th, 1986, with a late show starring Joan Rivers. This was your usual late-night talk show and was put in place as a soft launch for the network to help advertise their upcoming line of primetime programming. On April 5th, 1987, the network began their first wave of primetime programming with the sitcom Married with Children and the sketch comedy program The Tracy Ullman Show. Married with Children went on to be a major success and is still beloved today. The Tracy Ullman Show won multiple awards, is considered one of the best sketch comedy shows of all time, and was the birthplace of The Simpsons. However, the network had many other shows that launched in that first year, with most of them not lasting very long. Here's five shows from the first year of Fox that you may have forgotten or never seen. Down and Out in Beverly Hills. Down and Out in Beverly Hills is a sitcom based on the movie of the same name from 1986, which was based on the French satire Boudou Saved from Drowning from 1932, which was based on the play from the same name from 1919. The movie was about a rich, dysfunctional family who saved the life of a suicidal homeless man who tries to drown himself in their pool. They allow the guy to continue living in their house, and he proceeds to help them fix many of their problems in ways that make things worse. The TV series goes over the movie's basic points in the intro, and then proceeds to pick up where the movie ended. Although they pretty much ignored all the infidelity and more non-TV-friendly stuff from the movie. The show premiered on April 26, 1987. Hector Elizondo played Dave Whiteman, who was Richard Dreyfuss in the movie. Anita Morris was Barbara. Bette Midler, and Tim Thomerson was the bum Jerry Baskin, Nick Nolte in the movie. Evan Richards and Mike the Dog are the only two actors from the movie who played their same parts in the TV show. The show didn't go over well and was canceled after the eighth episode aired on September 12, 1987. There were five episodes unaired. While The Late Show was the first program aired on Fox, Down and Out Beverly Hills was the first show to be canceled by Fox. The movie was released by Touchstone and distributed by Buena Vista, both of whom are owned by Disney. They most likely tried to get the show on ABC, who owned Buena Vista TV, but they passed on it and offered it to Fox. The show was never released on DVD, and aside from the pilot being on YouTube, I don't see it anywhere else streaming. Considering these days Disney doesn't like its R-rated subdivisions very much, this most likely will never get an official release. Mr. President Mr. President, not to be confused with Mr. President, is a sitcom about the newly elected president Samuel Arthur Tresh, played by George C. Scott. The show focuses on the president's personal life and how the political aspects affected it, usually in typical sitcom way. The show premiered on May 3, 1987. It was a modest hit for the network. The first season had 10 episodes, and since it was getting good ratings, well, good ratings for them... They ordered 14 episodes for Season 2. Unfortunately, Season 2 didn't fare so well, so they ended the show on February 13th, 1988. It ran for 24 episodes. Despite having the star power of George C. Scott and a decent run for a brand new network, the show has never been released on DVD and is not available for streaming. A few random episodes are available on YouTube, though. Duet. Duet is probably the most successful one from this batch. Duet's a sitcom about the relationship between a novelist played by Matthew Lawrence. No, not that Matthew Lawrence. He was like six years old at the time. This Matthew Lawrence. And a caterer played by Mary Page Keller. The show premiered on April 19th, 1987. The show is about Ben, a struggling mystery novelist, and his girlfriend Laura, who is a caterer with her younger sister Jane. They're friends with the yuppie couple, Richard and Linda. As the show progressed, the focus started to shift towards the yuppie couple of Richard and Linda, who were proving to be more popular with the audience than the two main stars. In the final season, Ben and Laura get married, and the network saw that as more or less the end of their story arc. In the final episode, Linda meets real estate mogul Ted, who convinces her to join his firm. This was originally just going to be the season finale, but the network decided to shift the focus away from Ben and Laura and created the spin-off, Open House. The show is now about real estate agents Linda and Ted. Laura joined the cast, but they wrote Ben out of the show, saying the couple got divorced in between seasons. Despite being on the air for three seasons and one additional season for the spinoff, the show never really had good ratings. It was just good enough to keep afloat as the network struggled to find shows that would catch on. 
Duet ended on May 7th, 1989 with 54 episodes, and Open House ended on May 6th, 1990 after 24 episodes. As you would suspect, neither show is on DVD. I found a few random episodes from both on YouTube, but neither are streaming anywhere. Women in Prison Women in Prison is a sitcom about inmates in a women's prison. While Women in Prison movies at the time had casts like this, Women in Prison went for a cast that included actresses like Denny Dillon and Wendy Jo Sperber. The show revolved around a women's prison in Wisconsin. Vicky's framed by her husband and sent to prison. The show is about her getting to know the other inmates and what daily life is like in jail, along with a laugh track. It's okay. I'm here to help. No meat! <laughs> Vicky shares a cell with Eve, Bonnie, and Dawn, played by CCH Pounder. The show premiered on October 11th, 1987. Much like many of Fox's other programs, this was a very odd choice for a show. They seemed to be going after stuff that you couldn't see on the other networks, and while that would eventually pay off for them with shows like The X-Files, it just didn't catch on here. It's funny to think that this show was more or less the prototype for Orange is the New Black. The show was canceled and the last episode aired on February 20th, 1988 ran for one season with 13 episodes. The show's never been released on DVD, and I don't see the episode streaming anywhere. The pilot's on YouTube, but that's the only one I could find. Second Chance Second Chance is a sitcom about a guy named Charles who dies in a hovercraft accident in the far future of 2011. When he arrives in heaven for his judgment, they declare it he's too good for hell, but not good enough for heaven. So he gets sent back to 1987, where he helps a younger version of himself, played by a then-unknown Matthew Perry, to make good choices that will ultimately let him get into heaven. The show premiered on September 26, 1987. Charles is able to rent the apartment above the garage in his childhood home, and becomes a father figure for his younger self, Chaz. Chaz has two dopey friends, Booch and Eugene, who are often doing things that would get Chaz into trouble. Charles remembers what he did and tries to get Chaz to make smarter decisions than he did. Charles frequently has to report to St. Peter to make sure he's doing enough to eventually get into heaven. The ratings for the show were terrible, and while the network hoped they would improve, they never did. The show was canceled and the last episode aired on November 28, 1987. It ran for nine episodes. However, the network really saw something in Booch and Chaz. They got rid of the supernatural element of the show and decided to focus on the dumb things that Chaz, Booch, and Eugene were doing. Kind of the opposite of Second Chance, where it was all about learning from stupid mistakes. Charles and St. Peter were let go, but they did keep some of the family and some of the guest stars from Second Chance. This also allowed them to keep using the sets from the original show. Since Charles was no longer there, Booch and Chaz moved into the empty apartment above the garage. The retooled show, now called Boys Will Be Boys, premiered on January 16th, 1988, roughly a month and a half after Second Chance ended. The show did about as well ratings-wise as Second Chance, and was canceled after one season on May 7th, 1988. It ran for 12 episodes, three more than Second Chance. Fox really loved their spinoffs. Married with Children had the spinoff Top of the Heap, and then that was retooled, spun off to become Vinny and Bobby, like how Second Chance became Boys Will Be Boys. Also, Top of the Heap was starring Matt LeBlanc, who would later join Matthew Perry in Friends. Maybe I'll talk about those shows in a future episode. No, not Friends, the other ones. I also didn't realize just how many sitcoms Fox launched with. I guess they were the cheaper thing to make, as it just required good writers and no special effects. That's another five shows to start off the year. Fox was the punchline for a lot of jokes back then, but it's since gone on to be a force to be reckoned with and many of their shows outlived others on the big three. They proved there could be a fourth network, and later there was UPN and the WB, which might not be in existence if not for Fox proving it possible. Although in today's world with a bazillion different channels, it seems funny to think that for the most part, there was a time when people only watched programming from one of three places. Crazy. Anyway, see you next time. Stay tuned.
minutes a date? That it is. 